All right, guys, today we're going to adjust the carburetor on a home light 46cc. Um, what is this one called? Pro home light pro 4620c. Uh, now you can do it all through this section right here, but uh, T25 popping all these out. I'm getting this up and out of there so we can see what we're doing. Now all the adjustments are done with a spline screwdriver on the carburetor. Um, Idle is done with a Phillips or a flathead screw. Um, so just some things. Um, if it's when you're hitting the trigger and it bogs out and dies, it's this screw right here. You're going to go counterclockwise, a quarter turn at a time. Just keep it running, keep turning it a little bit, keep going and keep it running until it stops bogging out. And then when it gets where it'll rev up, you turn it to where it gets the highest rev, either way, counterclockwise or clockwise, where it gets the highest RPM, but still doesn't bog out. And that's done with the closest to the air filter screw. Um, idle, you do with this. This right now is running perfect. It's got a brand new carburetor on it, uh, brand new fuel lines, but the idle's a little high. You can use this screw here to richen it up a little bit and it'll bring the idle down, or you can just idle down here. I think I'm gonna do it with this one just to bring it, richen it up a little bit, and I may have to readjust this one after I make this one richer, just to freaking, you know, you know, um, you know, to give me a little more fine tuning. Alright, so you see that I, you know, I was able to adjust the idle down with that screw. Now, this is more of an idle screw. <laughs> Look at the thing smoking. I think it had some serious oil build up in it. It's sizzling off the freaking. This guy had a lot of oil going on in this thing for some reason. Whatever. But um, running perfect now. Um, this is your fine tune for your idle. So you can bring this down a little bit more. I got, it, I got it pretty much where I think it should be right now anyway, so this guy should be pretty happy. Um, and then, of course, like I said, you can do it all through this cover. You don't have to, you don't have to. Usually there's a little rubber boot there, but this guy must have been in this before me. It was missing. But you can do it all through this cover. I just did this so you could see, see how it goes. I'll put this in the description below. Hope this helped you out, guys. Uh, if it did, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Um, today's t-shirt will be in the description below. If you want me to wear some of your t-shirts, some advertising, I could use some sponsors. Peace.